It is round two of the Meyer LPGA Classic at Blythefield Country Club. Yeah, the action's heating up as some of the best female golfers in the world battle it out for the chance to bring home the title. And after a low scoring first round, the ladies went back to the links today trying to keep their scores in the low 60s again. Our team has you covered tonight. Zach Sapanik is live on the course with reaction from the field. But we start with sports director Jack Doles in studio with the round two highlights, Jack. Yeah, playing in the morning was a big advantage in round one. Not so in round two. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from early this morning at the Meyer LPGA Classic out at Blythefield Country Club. Pick it up at the eighth hole, Nelly Corda. She made a big move. Birdie there. E uh, actually, Eagle, she is four under for the tournament, five under for the day. Morgan Pressel, Michigan native. Her approach to the seventh hole up that big hill knocks it stiff. That's a tap in birdie. She is at six under par after shooting a 67. Tired out after that long walk up the hill. Big move in the morning. Moria Jutanagar and her sister's the number one player in the world. That's the approach to the fifth hole. Sets up a birdie. Here to seven. Birdie putt to go eight under par. And then on the par five eighth hole, great chip shot here, going to set up another birdie. Jutanagarn with a 66 this morning is at nine under par and four shots behind first round leader and current leader uh, Brooke Henderson from Canada. Zach Sapanek has been chasing the golfers all day long. He joins us now live from Blythefield. Zach, did the course get a little more difficult overnight? Not necessarily more difficult, Jack, maybe just a flip-flop of what there was yesterday. Overcast, swirling winds in the morning session gave way to some sunshine, more consistent winds this afternoon and a change in the conditions, but no change in challenge for the ladies. First seven or eight holes, the wind was down and then it started to pick up, which I think was maybe a little bit earlier than it uh, came up yesterday. So I think it was again another challenging day, bouncy greens, kind of some swirling winds, especially when you get down on the side of the golf course down by the river. Um, it's really hard to tell where the wind is coming from and it's a little bit of a guesswork. Just a little mad about the way kind of the, the second shots were going, but I drove it great, which um, something positive to come out of the round, but just didn't really get a whole lot out of the round. The golf course was playing hard. It was definitely not any softer this morning. So, um, you know, you got to play some good golf for a low score. It's turned into the Brooke Henderson show this afternoon. The Canadian currently setting the standard of excellence. Carlota Seganda also with a great round late. Maria Jutanugarn paced the field early. A few big rounds, some positioning incorporated into the second round strategy and at six, We'll have highlights from this afternoon's pairings, as well as some reaction. From Blythefield Country Club, Zach Sapanik, 24-Hour News 8. Boy, great turnout and support there. Absolutely. Oh, so fun to go yep. watch that. Make sure to stay with us throughout the weekend. Of course, we'll bring you continued highlights and interviews with players right here on 24-Hour News 8. And you can also watch the tournament tomorrow and Sunday on the Golf Channel.